Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. Luke chapter 7 and the verse 22. Go back and report to John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive sight. The lame walk. Those who have leprosy are cured. The deaf hear. The dead are raised, and the good news is preached to the poor. Our Lord had been involved in intense ministry activity over a period of time, and he had just uh, acted on the faith of a centurion. He was able to to heal this centurion's uh, servant without having to go to the house to touch him because the centurion the centurion had faith in Jesus Christ to be able to heal his servant he said to him you don't need to come to my house just speak the word and my servant will be healed he did and the man was healed and then then he uh, he came to the uh, town called Nain and there was a funeral procession and our Lord uh, ministered unto those people, that mother, and that boy was called back from the dead to life. So, so, so according to Luke chapter 7 and the verse 16 and, uh, and 17, the, the, the people were so astonished and amazed at what Jesus had done. And here is what the text says. Let, let's read it. They were all filled with awe and praised God. A great prophet has appeared among us, they said. God has come to help his people. So the news about his miraculous power had gone viral. And um, verse 17 says, The news about Jesus spread through Judea and the surrounding country. John's disciples who experienced uh, this uh, miraculous power of Jesus Christ in action, they, they went to John and they shared with him what they saw taking place. And John was in prison at this time, so he sent uh, two of them to Jesus with this question. Verse 19, it reads, Are you the one who was to come? Or should we expect someone else? And to this our Lord provided an ostensive answer. Go back and report to John what you have seen and heard. Go share it with John. The blind receive sight. The lame walk. Those with leprosy are cured, the, the deaf hear, and the dead are brought back to life. The good news is being preached to the poor. Loved ones, our Lord was convinced of his mission and his ministry. It did not matter who doubted, and it did not matter how strong those doubts were. He had absolutely no doubt about his mission and his ministry. John was the one who was sent to prepare the way for our Lord. He was our Lord's pastor for a season. He baptized him. And in John chapter 1 and the verse 32, he says, and it reads, Then John gave this testimony, which was an earlier testimony. I saw the Spirit come upon him from heaven as a dove and remain on him. I would not have known him except that the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, the man on whom you see the Spirit come down and remain is he who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Then listen to what John says, verse 34. I have seen and I testify 
that this is the Son of God. This was an earlier testimony of John. Despite this revelation and despite the demonstration before John's very eyes. While in prison, he, has, he had doubts. Our Lord did not answer him directly. He simply pointed to what was happening. The sick is being healed, the dead being raised, the deaf ears are open, and the poor is receiving the gospel. Jesus just pointed. He gave an ostensive answer. There it is. And, 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 and um, it was proof positive. Jesus simply pointed to what was going on as proof positive for his mission and his ministry. So friends, we have, we, we, have, um, we have been given a mandate by God to declare the transforming power of our Lord Jesus Christ in the earth. It does not matter who questions our commission. We have to be convinced for ourselves based on the directives that we have received from our Lord. And whenever the mission and ministry of the church is called into question, remember that the gospel it still has the power to provide sight for the blind, to, to, to mobilize the lame, to open deaf ears, to cure leprosy, to, to, to call the dead back to life. And it's still good news for the poor that is being preached in the earth. The mission and ministry of the church may be stoutly criticized and challenged by cynics but my friends the demonstration of the power of the Holy Spirit will silence every doubt and every fear whether it is in your life my life or someone else's life today let us be convinced of the mission and ministry of the church and our own mission and ministry that God has given to us and let us not entertain doubts let us not entertain fears and questions because the gospel of Jesus Christ given to us has the power to change lives and we cannot hide our light on that ocean may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you Thank you for listening to the Noonday Meditation with Pastor Wayne Vernon. Please forward this study to your friends, your relatives, associates, neighbors, and all those persons in your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. Until we meet again tomorrow, Shalom.